April 23rd, 1998, 2.15 p.m. It's amazing um, what we remember days for. Most of the time it's for a birthday, an anniversary, graduation, a death. For me, that day was the day that my life turned upside down and a whole new way of living started for me. I like to say that a so-called medical professional um, called me into his office. He said, sit down, sit down. I, you know, I've got people waiting, so we've got to get this done. And he said, he pulled out a, a, this huge envelope, pulled out some film, it was an MRI film. And he said, look, you've got MS, so basically your life as you know it is over. At that point, I kind of looked at him and what? And he said, you heard me, your life is over. Um, I'd suggest you go home, put your affairs in order before you become incapacitated. He said, you'll have to quit work. You'll have to go on a whole bunch of drugs, but you'll have to also go back to your own GP because I really don't have time for you as a patient. I've got enough people with MS. So by the time my husband got home that night, I had our whole life planned out for us. We had just bought a house. We'd been in it a year. I told him I was giving him a divorce. I was going back to Canada to my family because how is he going to look after me if I was going to be incapacitated, especially as we got older. And I told him that he could have the house, he'd just have to get somebody in to help pay, pay for it. <laughs> like a good Aussie bloke, I actually can't use the first word that he said, was, um, you're an idiot. He said, have you listened to what I've said? He goes, yeah, but the guy sounds like an idiot. He said, look, we have it, you don't have it, and we'll deal with it. I'm one of the lucky ones. 